It's the 70 it's a style of music that is more than 150 years old, so you might not expect it to be very cutting edge, but then you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong, because barbershop singing is booming. To find out why, we can join Tim Muffet. He's at the Bonington Theatre in Nottingham. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, too. Well, if I asked you to think of the traditional image of barbershop singing, which began way back in the 1800s, you'd probably think of something a bit like this. We Very nice, but old-fashioned, kind of older guys doing it, maybe. Well, the last couple of years, something remarkable has happened. Take a listen to Monkey Magic. Honey doll, make up your mind, sweetie dear. Now is the time, listen while I make it Now, these guys are all under 23. In a way, they represent the new face of barbershop singing, which is undergoing a renaissance. It seems people are seeing live singing on television, on talent shows, things like that, and want to get involved. Let's have a quick chat to Alan, who's from the British Association of Barbershop Singers. Alan, why do you think there's been this sudden upsurge in interest of barbershop? Well, as you said, a lot of people are now interested in singing, and we've provided free learn to sing courses using barbershop as a method to get people up on the feet, learning how to sing, and so many of them enjoy it, as you can hear by the sound, that they stay with us. Now, there's been shows like Last Choir Standing as well, even things like X Factor, which see people singing off an a cappella. Is that partly responsible as well, do you think? I think anything which gets people thinking I could do that how do I do it and it's very difficult at times for people to walk into an established choir what we do is provide courses where everybody starts from the same position okay Alan thanks ever so much indeed let's have a quick chat to the guys guys that is fantastic if I may just stop you there thanks ever so much indeed for playing for singing for us this morning let's just clarify one thing what exactly is barbershop singing Joe could you just briefly tell us uh, yeah barbershop it's four part unaccompanied singing like you see um, and it's defined by the fact that we have a harmony part that sings above the melody quite a lot of the time. Uh, and we also make a, um, a heavy use of a dominant seventh or barbershop seventh chord. Right, now, it sounds difficult. Are you really thinking that many people who haven't really sung that much can just come along and get involved in something like this? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, we have quite a few guys from our choruses back home and also from, from the National Barbershop Youth Chorus who don't read music, don't have a background in music traditionally, um, but we learn our music just by listening to recordings um, and, and anybody can really get involved. And very briefly, how does it feel to be like the new funky face of Barbershop? Feels great, yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and you guys play sell-out gigs, don't you, all over the country? You know, you're, you're really yeah. in demand, don't you? We get to travel all around England. All... We've been to America, we've been to Germany. We get to travel all around. We get to meet lots of different people. We get to meet lots of girls. <laughs> well, OK, we'll stop it right there for now, but guys, I'll hand back. You know what? Actually, I won't hand back. I'll let you guys hand back. Over to you. Back to you. That's all from Nottingham.